What's going on, your man Don McKay in here, of course. Uh, Ravenfire.com, the Diamond K Show.com. Sad news to report. Uh, native of Washington, D.C., producer Chucky Thompson passing away. Got his start playing uh, drums in uh, the go go band of the legendary Chuck Brown. So uh, he went on talking about um, Chucky Thompson went on to become a legendary producer in his own right, joining the famed hitman from Bad Boy Records, that uh, really classic 90s sound that put Bad Boy on the map. I uh, went on to work with New Edition, Tevin Campbell, Mary J. Blige, Usher, TLC, uh, of course, Biggie, Craig Mack, Faith Evans, Nas, just did a whole lot of work for a whole lot of big names uh, in the music industry. But he was more than that, accomplished more than that outside of music. Thompson made a documentary about the uh, Tuskegee Airmen. And um, uh, that was picked up on the History Channel, worked on a film about his life, and then also uh, something about go-go music, which he was very much uh, a part of. That, uh, as I said, that scene really uh, coming to light uh, in the in the D.C. area. Uh, but this was called Chucky Thompson Presents D.C. Go-Go. So I remember when that was being filmed so he worked on that documentary working on music had new music uh that is coming from diddy diddy has a an album that he's dropping on his new uh love records and uh thompson was promoting that on his social media just a few days ago uh but the tragic news as i said uh definitely uh music industry folks family, friends, colleagues, supporters, sending condolences uh, to the famed producer. So uh, COVID-19, they're saying complications from COVID-19. Uh, news of his death spreading today. Young Guru was the first person that I saw posting it uh, on social media. He said, uh, RIP to my mentor, my big brother, the man who changed my life forever. So that that 90s era of hip hop was just this this blend of R&B and of and of course rap music and it was um uh, it, it was something that uh, Thompson did very well. That sound, that bad boy sound, they were sampling those songs from the from the 80s and putting them with those rappers in the 90s, that was something that he did and did very well. So although he was from Washington DC, he did a lot more than just go-go, a lot more than just hip-hop. He even had uh, songwriting credits with Yolanda Adams, Percy Mayfield. Uh, but uh, it, it is just uh, a very big loss to music, to the music industry, to the DMV. He's somebody that had success outside of the DMV area, but did not forget where he came from. Did not forget his roots and wanted to make sure that everybody else knew about it. So uh, RIP to Chucky Thompson. Man, gone too soon. 53 years old. If you talk about the 2000s, he was also behind the boards for some of those big hits. Like I said, Faith Evans. Uh, did a lot of stuff. He produced some stuff for the late Biz Marquee on the uh, Weekend Warrior album. I was playing that uh, not too long ago because, of course, you know Biz Marquee passing away. Uh, we've been losing a lot of people, a lot of people uh, way too soon. Thompson also has some uh, writing credits on the Views album, Drake's Views album. Also, the My Life documentary with Mary J. Blige. And as I said, recently hard at work on Diddy's upcoming Off the Grid Volume 1 album. So I am looking forward to hearing that. I will keep you posted 
uh, for any information on a uh, home going service for um, the late great Chucky Thompson. Um, COVID sucks. Natasha Allen said that in the comment section. COVID sucks, and I think that uh, that sums it up very well. You may Dominic K in here at the Dominic K Show at Radio on Fire. <laughs>